All right. So in this video, I'm going to prove to you guys that one is equal to two. I'm going to prove this to you guys. So for the proof, I'm going to first start with a variable a, and I'm going to let this variable a equal to another variable b. So all we're doing is saying we made two variables and we're saying that they're equal to each other. Now, if a is equal to b, then this means that a squared is equal to a times b, because at the end of the day, b is a, so a times b is a squared. So a squared is equal to b. There's nothing wrong with this. So now what I'm going to do is subtract b squared on both sides. So I'm going to subtract b squared on both sides. So I get a squared minus b squared is equal to a times b minus b squared. And there's nothing wrong with this as well. All I did was subtract b squared on both sides. Now here, I'm going to use a property for a squared minus b squared. So if I have something in the form x squared minus y squared, this is equal to x plus y times x minus y. This is a property of algebra. So I'm going to use this on a squared minus b squared. So it turns into a plus b times a minus b. And for a, a times b minus b squared, because both of these terms have b in them, I'm going to factor out b. So I get b times a minus b. Now, notice how I have a minus b over here and a minus b over here. So I'm simply going to cancel these two out. So I get a plus b is equal to b. And remember how a is equal to b. So I get b plus b is equal to b. b plus b is 2b. So I get 2b is equal to b. And if I divide both sides by b, these two cancel out, these two cancel out. So I get 2 is equal to 1. So I just proved to you guys that 2 is equal to 1. Now there is actually an error in here. And what I want you guys to do is comment where the error is. Comment where the error is in the proof. And I will like the comment that gets it right. So thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and share this to any friends or family. All right. So in this video, I'm going to be proving that 0 divided by 0 is equal to 2. So how am I going to prove this? Well, let's first start by writing out 0 over 0. So we're going to ignore the equals 2 for a moment and just start with 0 over 0. Well. 0 over 0, this is the same thing as 0 is the same thing as 1 minus 1, meaning 0 over 0, I can write this as 1 minus 1 over 1 minus 1, right? And this is right because 1 minus 1 is 0, so this is the same thing as 0 over 0. Now this, if this is true, then this means that this is also the same thing as 10 minus 10. And I have this over 10 minus 10 as well. So these two are the same thing. And if this is true, then this is also the same thing as 100 minus 100. So I have 100 minus 100 over 100 minus 100. So because all of this is true, now I can start by making things a little more complicated. So let me rewrite this over here. I have 100 minus 100 over 100 minus 100. 
And now I'm going to change things up a little bit. 100, 100 is the same thing as 10 times 10, right? So for my denominator, I'm going to write this as 10 times 10, because 100 is 10 times 10, minus I have 100 again, so 10 times 10 again. And for my numerator, what I'm going to do is, well, 10 times 10, that's the same thing as 10 squared, right? So for my numerator, I'm going to write 10 squared minus 10 squared. And the reason why I did this is because if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b, right? So in this case, I have 10 squared minus 10 squared, and a and b are the same thing. So a is 10, and so is b. b is 10 as well. So I get 10 plus 10 times 10 minus 10, and I have this over 10 times 10 minus 10 times 10. And now this is the same thing as 10 plus 10 times 10 minus 10 over, for my denominator, what I'm going to do is factor out 10. So if I factor out 10, I get 10 times, well, 10 times 10 divided by 10 is simply 10. And again, 10 times 10 divided by 10 is 10 again. So I have 10 times 10 minus 10. Now from here, what I'm going to do is cancel out these two 10 minus 10s. So if I cancel these two out, I get 10 plus 10 over 10. And, well, 10 plus 10, that's 20. So I have 20 over 10, and 20 divided by 10 is 2. So there, I just proved that 0, oops, sorry, 0 over 0 is equal to 2. So, obviously, 0 over 0 is not 2. So where did I go wrong? Well, I went wrong right here. Remember how I canceled out the 10 minus 10 over 10 minus 10? Well, what is 10 minus 10? 10 minus 10 is 0. So that's saying that 0 divided by 0 is 1. And I can't cancel these two out because 0 divided by 0 is not 1. So that is wrong. And 0 divided by 0 is not equal to 2.